Hi, my name is Annie Vang, and I am an iOS application developer. I make iPhone apps. Today, I will be sharing my story with you. I was born in a refugee camp called Ban Vinai in Thailand following the Vietnam War. These are images of me living in the refugee camp. When I was two years old, my family came to the United States. We settled in a small town called Pella, Iowa. This is a picture of my first elementary school. I learned to speak English by watching Big Bird and Popeye on TV. I also watched Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood on PBS TV. We were poor and didn't have many things. I got bullied a lot for talking funny because I had an accent. No one in my school looked like me except my sister and cousins. The kids told me, go back to your country. I was so confused because this was the only country I knew. It made me sad. I did not have any friends. I thought if I could speak English properly, I would gain acceptance. As my English improved, I started to lose my native Hmong language skills. I struggled with my identity. I wasn't American enough, and I wasn't Hmong enough. Finding joy. I wanted to belong somewhere. I found a safe place in the school library. I loved reading. Encyclopedias were my favorite. Choose Your Own Adventure books took me on adventures. In sixth grade, I met my first computer. I felt a spark, a connection, a curiosity that only grew. I loved computer games, and it was so much fun that I forgot about time. I also loved the Nintendo. I played it in secret because I wasn't allowed to play it because I was a girl. Feeling alive. I wanted to go on an adventure so much. I took every computer class possible because I loved it so much. I told a teacher that I wanted to make those things in the computer. She told me I would not be successful because I was not a boy and not a genius. I was embarrassed. My heart was crushed. It made me sad. It felt like the spark in me almost vanished. I self-taught myself HTML, but everyone told me I would amount to nothing. I did a lot of soul searching for the next few years. Finally, at the age of 26, I went back to college to chase my dreams. The spark inside me was growing stronger. After college, I got my dream developer job working for American Family Insurance in Madison, Wisconsin. I learned to light my own path. Ten years ago, I created Hmong phrases to teach simple phrases and words to leave a digital footprint of our language for generations to come. Let's see it in action. We can search by category, play a sound, Let's search for a phrase. You can look for words and search for words. You can play sounds. Day. Tia. Play. Ah. Or. Shia. Ta Ning Do Nia Mu Gu 
There's also a flashcard section for easy studying. La, Lea, Tlai, Dai. You can also send me feedback. I also created a Southeast Asian cookbook app to share our recipes with the world. I also created a YouTube channel to share videos of Hmong food and Southeast Asian cooking. I now have over 68,000 subscribers and 12.5 million video views. Life-changing moments. In July of this year, I attended Apple's Entrepreneur Camp for female entrepreneur founders. I was the only developer from the United States. Because of Apple, I was published in numerous publications. I won an Amy Award and was featured on the news. If I haven't told you yet, I am a grandma. My son is the one in the red hat and my grandsons are dressed in Hmong Thai clothes. I have been married to my husband, Chewy, for almost 29 years. A lot of people called me a nerd growing up. They said my head was always up in the clouds. They did not understand. I was just lonely. Computers and video games made me happy because they did not judge me. Adults don't always have the right answers, and that is okay. Making mistakes makes us human. If I could leave one lesson for you today, it would be to find your spark, to do what you love, and to ignite others with your kindness. Thank you.